Uh, remember Marvel artist Mark Brooks? The guy gets on tangents. Uh, I think he drinks a little bit and uh, goes online and starts ranting at people quite often. It's gotten him into trouble in the past. Uh, we have heard from an industry insider at one point that Mark Brooks was ordered to cool it uh, with his going at people of a political persuasion he doesn't like. But this is honestly par for the course of people at Marvel and DC. This is what they do. They lambast fans. They lambast their fellow professionals. They lambast commentators, all because of politics. And Mark Brooks just can't handle it at the end of the day. He wants everybody to agree with him, everybody to just uh, be brainwashed like he is. Otherwise, he wants to, of course, try to hurt you and get you you're, uh, destroyed in your career. This happened with Gabe El Taib back in the day, and Mark Brooks now is on Twitter doubling down on what he was trying to do back then. We're going to show you the entire story in case you forgot it. This is absolutely crazy. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and I've got a new book on Kickstarter right now, All Eyes on Ashley, with beautiful art and a beautiful story. This is about a man who's out there, of course, trying to get the attention of this gorgeous blonde right here in the office and he knows that she's out of his league and so what's he do he makes some mistakes and this is really a good story for young men about just like don't simp don't fall for online tactics and things like that and just man up and become your own person and uh, that's what we're trying to present here so he has to man up in order to of course get the girl and it's a good classic story that you'll absolutely enjoy the art's beautiful we have three wonderful covers to choose from and of course the uh cover matches the interiors which is unheard of in comics these days gorgeous stuff that you'll absolutely enjoy there's been a huge success so far thank you guys for backing that links in the description below all right so here's the comment from mark brooks right here What's been going on is Tony Isabella, who wrote uh, for uh, Marvel and DC back in the day, uh, wrote this crazy rant saying that right-wing creeps need to be banned from all conventions, that he's going to call security if he sees any of them out there. Crazy. But this has been par for the course for these people at conventions for a long, long time. I, of course, got banned from the World Science Fiction Convention just for reporting the news like this back in 2018. They libeled me on their website calling me a racist bully in which I sued them into oblivion, and uh, that was the end of that. It went wonderfully. They were forced to apologize and pay me, so thank you, Worldcon for your service. But it's not just me. Of course, uh, we've had Kevin Sorbo has been uh, banned from uh, different conventions uh, just because he's friends with Sean Hannity. We've had uh, John Ringo, another wonderful science fiction author, banned from Con Carolinas just for being out there. Larry Coria from Bain Books uh, was banned from Origins Game Fair just because he's a popular uh, you know, libertarian author. So this stuff is absolutely crazy. These people treat conservatives like we're you know some sort of criminals and of course they do that because they they're out there you know in their little circles going these are literal nazis we need to punch like captain america on their little online fiefdoms they think they're like superheroes even though they are just dweebs on the internet that are socially awkward and of course are making poor products for their companies marvel and dc so here it is mark brooks uh is following up on this here and this is, if it's cool for Gabe El Taib to pull up on Mark Brooks at San Diego Comic-Con, no reason Eric July shouldn't expect the same. So what this is talking about um, right here is Gabe El Taib was at San Diego Comic-Con. He's a professional. Mark Brooks is a professional. Mark Brooks has fired at Gabe El Taib uh, back in the day. Gabe El Taib's a colorist. If you don't know, he works for the Ripaverse currently. Uh, and Eric July, and that's what he's doing for a living now after being blacklisted from DC Comics, and of course, uh, dealing with the problems that came from the fallout there. So he just uh, went it and just went to say hi to Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks had a table out there. Mark wasn't there, and Gabe just took a photo of himself in front of Mark Brooks' booth. Now, this is a public area. It's not a big deal. Uh, you should be able to meet fellow professionals, say hi to each other uh, without any sort of problem, right? And, uh, and here it is. Uh, he talks about uh, Gabe El Taib here uh, and, uh, and is going off on Ethan Van Skyver's art uh, in this picture right here. But Gabe went and <clears throat> posted, uh, here's the photo uh, where Mark Brooks bleeped it out for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, Gabe said, couldn't find little Marky? Maybe tomorrow. Hashtag Comicsgate. And here it is. The first few days of the show went by without a hitch. If anything, it felt like one big party, and I was loving every minute of it. Things changed Saturday night. I got a message from a friend with a screen cap from Twitter. This is where I got a little nervous. He's nervous because somebody's walking the floor of San Diego Comic-Con. 
What a dork. I mean, <laughs> that's so lame at the end of the day. Look, I got a lot of people in these comic industries who don't like me. Mark Brooks is one of them. If Mark Brooks came up to my table or wanted to say hi or whatever, I'd shake his hand, take a picture with him, and be like, hey, bro, hope everything's all right. And, uh, and then we'd go back to it on Twitter the next day. We are professionals. We are comic lovers. We're supposed to come together at these conventions over what we love. That's exactly what this is about. But with these people, everything's just about divisive hate all the time. And that's what Mark Brooks really propagates with Marvel Comics. And same with a lot of people at Marvel Comics. They've been doing so for years. It's really sad. So, of course, now he says nobody should be pulling up on anyone. Cons are meant to be fun for fans and professionals. Well, just have fun, Mark, and settle down. Using them as parking lots to settle squabbles, regardless of viewpoint, is next level stupid. Everyone needs to grow up. Well, Mark called security on Gabe back in 2022, trying to get him kicked out of Comic-Con. And of course, he he demanded that Gabe not ever be allowed back at San Diego Comic-Con. That didn't work. I actually met Gabe at 2023's Comic-Con. Nice guy. He was pretty chill. And uh, <laughs> I just spent a few minutes with him. But uh, I don't see him as the type of person who'd ever hurt anybody. Mark Brooks, on the other hand, I'd worry about him going unhinged. That's the crazy part here. So I got security called on me by Heather Antos, of course, at this con as well. And uh, I was faced with armed guards for just reporting the news here again. I don't understand why these professionals can't just like chill the hell out and just like talk about comics. Look, we might not agree on everything, but I run a news website. I run like a huge promotional comic arm right here on YouTube as well. I mean, why do you want to fight all the time? It's crazy, but... They do. It's all just because they can't handle you voting for somebody else or living a certain way or being a Christian. They just hate it. And it's really sad to me. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Why is Mark Brooks so scared of conservatives going to conventions? Very sad. Hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to back all eyes on Ashley on Kickstarter today. Appreciate you guys being there.